Lost media is crazy. Every form of media has some type of content that was produced and lost. Even a nobody like me has some videos that I unlisted, and a video I never bothered to even upload. Let's cover some lost sports video game content, mostly because it's a subject matter that's somewhat uncovered, and it's the theme of the channel, man. After the success of NBA Jam, Midway wanted to jump into the violent realm of football. Midway wanted the NFL license, and the NFL agreed to give it to them under the assumption that the game would just be football with arcade elements and no rules. Well, you know what they say when you assume, right? Ass! Midway made a much more violent version of Blitz that had blood, bleeped out cursing, and animations like neck breakers. Prototypes of this version were released in certain arcades. When the NFL seen this, they decided to be like the year 2020 and wash their hands. Wash their hands of this game, that is. Midway came to terms with what the NFL wanted, and we have the Blitz we all know and love today. Whatever happened to those test arcade cabinets that had the more violent gameplay? Well, if I knew that, it wouldn't be lost media now, would it? Years later, Midway would make an unlicensed version of Blitz that took the original idea and ran with it harder than DK Metcalf chasing down a ball carrier. This game had steroids, cursing, injuries like ball sacks exploding on your face. Yeah, man, for the whole family. In 1996, Game Players Magazine mentioned that a Sonic sports game was in development. The magazine mentions that Sonic, Tails, and Ristar would participate in sporting events like basketball, volleyball, and soccer. We would never hear from this game again after this. If I had to guess why, it's probably because the game was being put on Sega 32X, which sucked. Releasing the game on a 32X and expecting it to sell is like releasing an ice cube in a volcano and expecting it not to melt. I don't know why I thought that would work. A Sonic series would go on to be involved in many other sports throughout the years, like racing on foot, racing in a car, even though he's faster on foot, but uh, whatever, tennis, and literally everything in the Olympics. Mario, on the other hand, he's no stranger to sports games. Hence the B-roll. Mario Strikers was a soccer game that was developed by Next Level Games. Nintendo was so impressed with the Striker series that they let them have a bigger budget and more creative development for the next game. Except they totally didn't. Next Level Games won with a volleyball game, but that somehow morphed itself into a professional wrestling game too? There are concept arts and animations that were released. Next Level Games even had a prototype that they presented to Nintendo. Nintendo wasn't happy with this because it goes against their code of honor. Ugh. You know, when stuff like this happens, it's hard not to see why Nintendo has this overly kitty image. It's dumb and contradictory, considering Nintendo had a super gory game like Mad World exclusive to their console. I guess you can make an argument that Nintendo doesn't want to portray Mario characters in a violent matter, but this is the same series where you can stomp enemies into dust. And hello, Super Smash Brothers is a thing that exists. Just let me do a Canadian Destroyer with Shy Guy, man. Come on. The prototype that Next Level Games showed Nintendo is lost. Many people don't associate Nintendo with sports. You know, besides that last entry, anyway. Nintendo has published licensed sports games before, believe it or not. The Ken Griffey Jr. series and the NBA Courtside series were both by Nintendo. Nintendo went out to produce a new baseball series named Pennant Chase Baseball. It's rumored because the MLB 2K games were not going to be published on the GameCube. The game has a reveal trailer and many interviews talking about what features the game was going to have. Delays hit the game over and over and over again, until its eventual cancellation. There were journalist tournaments where, of all things, a Shigeru Miyamoto signed copy of Wind Waker was up for grabs. The game was even playable at that year's E3. Judging from the footage we can see, it doesn't really look all that good. Which is probably why it led to the game being cancelled. Also, MLB 2K was released on the GameCube, so maybe Nintendo felt their MLB game was redundant. Who knows? Either way, the game was never released, and there's no builds of the game that have been released to the public. Hey man, if you want to hear more, here's a shameless plug of a video I made on it. 
when it comes to Atari, it's the Wild West. Any random ass guy could wake up one day and decide they're making a game for Atari. Because of this, tons of Atari games are lost and there are probably tons more that were never even discovered in the first place. One interesting case is a game called NBA Handicappers 2. I don't really know what to expect with a title like that, handicapper pretty much being a betting term. The publisher Dynacomp released it and there's no trace of this game anywhere. Funny enough, the Atari Mania database doesn't even have an NBA Handicapper 1. So if that even exists, it's even more lost. Dynacomp has another Handicapper game just called Handicapper. So maybe NBA Handicapper 2 is the sequel to Handicapper? But wait, they made a game that was also just called Handicapper 2. And then there's an NFL Handicapper as well. Yeah, I'm done trying to understand this shit. And also, saying handicapper so much makes me feel like I'm being prejudiced towards disabled people. Enough. People who bought Snoopy vs. the Red Baron were treated to a surprise on the back of the manual that advertises a Charlie Brown baseball game that was coming in 2007. Well, the year 2007 came and went and many things happened that year, like the announcement of the iPhone, the television writers went on strike, and a future president shaving Vince McMahon's head. But nothing about a Charlie Brown baseball game, unfortunately. The developer, Farsight Studios, apparently had to cancel the game because they had too many projects going on at once. The story of this game is that Charlie Brown's baseball team sucked so bad that they lost 123 to zero. I personally think the Mets can still use him. So you take control of the team and try and make them better. The only thing we would ever see from this game, besides the advertisement, is this render of Charlie Brown himself. EA's yearly basketball franchise, NBA Live, was consistent for years until the seventh generation of consoles. This is when the NBA 2K games gained some momentum, while the Live series started to trend downwards. EA attempted to do a reboot of sorts with the newly named NBA Elite. This is all good, except you need to make a good video game that's not worse than the old one. NBA Elite was largely unimpressive looking, and EA were to release a demo that effectively killed the game. The demo had an infamous glitch with Andrew Bynum where he T-posed in the middle of the court. YouTuber Hard 8 Times described this as Bynum standing in the middle of the court like Jesus. <sighs> Y'all seeing this shit? <laughs> this dude is in the middle of the fucking court standing there like Jesus. After this, the game was canceled only about a month away from release. Since the game was so close to release, some PS3 copies of the game made it to retailers and were snagged. The game isn't lost anymore considering copies have shown themselves. But if you want one, be prepared to sell your left kidney in order to get one. It's just so funny that old sports games are seen as disposable, but one of the rare games you can find is, funny enough, a sports game. I also made a video on this game too, and I'll stop plugging my shit now. This is an obscure basketball game for the PS1 that was made by Konami, and it's not all that special, really. What is special is the fact that this game apparently had a PC release. However, there is no proof of this game ever existing besides these magazines. No pictures, video, statement from Konami, no anything. So I guess it's safe to say that this version only ever had intentions in releasing in Japan. Maybe the game is being elusive like Solid Snake, or maybe the game is being erased like Silent Hills. Who knows? This was meant to be Power Stone, but with WWE wrestlers. The game would have overly exaggerated versions of the wrestlers themselves. The game looked kind of impressive to me. My favorite thing about the game was the destructible environments. What wasn't impressive was WWE publisher THQ's financials. They were doing poorly and eventually had to file for bankruptcy. The WWE license was sold off to 2K who would eventually make a WWE Battlegrounds, which is a bad game that should have been canceled instead. No build of WWE Brawl was ever released publicly. Online servers going down. You know you're starting to get old when you're starting to feel nostalgic for online gaming content. It's just something that happens to every game. But with sports games, it happens much sooner. The nature of sports games is that once the new one is released, the old one is considered obsolete, so the servers for that game would be cut off in a year or two tops. 
This isn't a big deal in some places because most online servers were just regular one-on-one -on -one matches, but in some cases they weren't. I mean, just think about all those people that took out a loan just to get a decent team and ultimate team, only to never be able to see it again. Remember those game rooms that a lot of games had? People would always talk in there and consistently ask for people to play with, only to turn down every invite they get. Ah, the good old days. I even remember when the MLB The Show series had an in-game instant messenger chat because the PS3 launched without the ability to send messages in-game. Stuff like that made up a good portion of memories for everyone. And all of that stuff now is just lost to time. Thanks for watching guys. If you want more obscure sports video game stuff, I made a whole iceberg on that. Check out my other stuff too if you want. See ya.